G'day folks, it's the Maple Monkey here with another unboxing video for you. Um, if you saw uh, my other uh, X-Men Wave 2 um, uh, video, uh, this is the, uh, we're looking at the uh, Kickstarter promo sort of big box. So these are all the um, sort of promo characters. Stretch, I think it's like the, the stretch goal uh, characters. Um, so that's what we'll be looking through uh, right now. Um, I did try and, uh, I was going to originally uh, look at this in the previous uh, video, but uh, the, the time just sort of got away from me there, so I thought it might be best just to split it into two videos. And if you're more interested in seeing all these, the extra uh, extra mutant promos, um, this is the video for you. Uh, just interesting to note, um, the the packaging wasn't the greatest. Uh, the, the box this arrived in was very sort of light in the... Uh, protection around the boxes sort of thing so a little bit of a dent here so hopefully that ha doesn't affect things too much inside but um everything else seemed to be all right in those those previous uh boxes that we looked at so let's have a look at um all the uh the promo characters all right here we go so this is the um first layer you see when you uh, open the box up so um this seems to be pretty standard in a lot of um simon um Products is they'll, they'll just have a sort of a pretty standard sort of cardboard box there to sort of hold all the minis and that sort of stuff. So um, let's have a look. Wow. Oh, and we'll just have a quick look in there. You can see those are your, your uh, tokens and um, cards and things like that as well. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But I'm sure this is uh, <laughs> what you've come to see. So let's check them out. All right, we'll just go through them. So... Um, I'm probably not going to know all of these guys. Um, I'd have to have a look at the, <laughs> the names on the back, but uh, I think that might be Avalanche. So he's a little, uh, he's a bad guy. Looks like we're starting with the bad guys. Um, who have we got here? Is that uh, Scarlet Witch? Oh, I don't know that that is. Is that her? Uh, maybe. Mm. And then uh, I think I think this guy's name was Mastermind. Oh, that's cool. Got like a little balustrade there behind him going up the stairs. Wow, I didn't realize that. I didn't see that in the Kickstarter. That's cool. Cool little little extra effect there. Uh, extra detail. Uh, Callisto, I think. Yeah. I should get a bit closer on some of these, shouldn't I, for you? There we are. And... Um, Oh, let's get focused there. Lady Deathstrike. Let's see, that's not, there we go, is that better? Yeah, cool dynamic pose there, sort of. All right. And we have Arcade. Mm-hmm, little top hat. Now, hmm. I can't remember this guy's name. Is this Mephisto? No, this wouldn't be Mephisto, would it? I don't think so. It's not Mojo, I don't think. Yeah, I can't remember this guy. Mm -hmm. We have Silver Samurai. That's a nice pose, I like that one. That's cool. And uh, one of, I think, Wolverine's Arch Nemesis, uh, Omega Red. Yeah, that's cool. I think he's one of Wolverine's Nemesis, isn't he? He's sort of one of, I know Sabretooth sort of, to me, sort of has a similar look. And I know they're, they're Arch Nemesis, but I thought Omega Red also had something to do with Wolverine. Whoa, Blob looks very Blob-like. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> They've gone all out on his, uh, his bulk here. That's cool. He's very angry. Uh, some more of that cool flame effect. They probably getting, That's probably a better angle. I should have done that with some of the other ones. That's cool. Yep. Toad. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at this. Look at the detail on there. Xavier School. For, can you read that? Got gifted youngsters. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, these are some really nice, really nice minis. There's Onslaught. Mm-hmm. Still just kind of looks like uh, 
like Magneto with like big giant uh, shoulder pads. And Sauron or Sauron. Mm -hmm. And there's Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, I think. Wow, that's a pretty cool effect, actually. That's pretty cool. Not sure if that's picking up on camera, but um, yeah, I like that. That's cool. And the big, uh, big uh, Queen Mother alien. Uh, wow. You could use that as a Tyranid. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, and now is this Mojo? I think this might be Mojo. So maybe that other guy is Mephisto. Yeah, he's cool. That's a cool model. All right. Okay, so we've got some uh, anti-heroes and some good guys now. So I think that might be, now is that Havoc? It's not the uniform I'm used to, but this circle on his chest sort of seems like that might be Havoc. Okay. And then my favorite character from when I was a teenager sort of reading the comics was um, Multiple Man. I just liked his, his he just seems like kind of like a, a useless character, but a bit goofy, but he, yeah, cool sort of funny power. Uh, quite like him. There's a character in uh, My Hero Academia that's kind of similar to him that I quite like as well. Um, we have now, who is this? Is this Polaris? This might be Polaris. Um, yeah, she might be from X. Oh, this could be like the X Factor row. That's kind of cool that they've put them in their in their team rows. If I wonder if that's consistent throughout. So this is strong guy. He was good sort of sidekick of uh, Multiple Man. So I liked these two. I think this guy and Multiple Man were the were the main sort of draw card for me. Why I liked the X Factor the best. Just thought they were kind of cool because they were kind of fun loving guys. All right. Uh, then we have, oh, who's this? Is this Jubilee? Now, that she wasn't in X-Factor, was she? So that, that might be the end of the little section of X-Factor characters there. Is that Jubilee? Not sure. Um, and... Ooh, no, no, I've got no idea who this is. She's got... Icicles or something in there, so she must throw those around. I'm not sure who she is though, I can't remember. Okay. And yeah, another character I'm not very familiar with, but a cool model. I don't know if you can pick that up, there's apart from my fingernails there, but you can see some cool little crystals on the ground. And I wish you got in here. And well, this guy looks cool. Yeah. Again, not sure who this guy is. Is he one of the new mutants? Not sure. Um, now, I would have said that this was Baron Nemo, but was he an X-Man adversary? Maybe that's him. Could be. Although he's got wearing an X. Is he an X-Man? Who is this guy? I don't know. I'm sure you guys can tell me in the comments. Um, now, there's two of these characters who are always, I think one of them might have been in the New Mutants, or maybe X-Force, and one was in X-Factor. One was called, I think, Wolfsbane, and one was Feral, but I'm not sure which is which, I can't really remember. I always thought, that's funny, they both seem very similar characters. Um, yeah, anyway, again, <laughs> with all these ones I've got no idea about, I'm sure you can... Uh, point it out in the comments if you feel like it. Um, now, have we had a look at this one? I don't think so. This might be magic, I think. Yeah, she's got that sword, that sort of demon sword or whatever. I like that sort of portal effect there, that's cool. And now, is this guy Sunfire? Maybe, that's kind of cool. 
loading up on a jet stream there. Um, now, who's this guy? Is that Legion? I'm not super familiar with this guy, but he's cool. Um, and then uh, that's a cool bow and arrow. She's sort of firing some sort of magical arrow there or something. That's cool. And here's the here's that. Uh, so this is either wolfbane or <laughs> or feral. Um, yeah, you can see. I guess the difference is one of them has a tail. So there you go. This one doesn't have a tail. But I'm not sure if this is the one from X Factor or the other one is. Um, all right. Well, I'm not sure who this is. It kind of reminds me of that guy from the Slim Jim ad. Uh, yeah, no idea. I'm showing that I'm not a bona fide uh, X-Men uh, aficionado. <laughs> so I got passing knowledge of them from the 90s. Um, this might be Emma Frost, I'm guessing. And don't know who this is, but they look very determined. I think this character might have been in one of the old, uh, well not the old, but one of the X-Men movies where they sort of had spines sort of growing out of them and they used to throw them at the baddies. They were sort of only in one scene, I think. Uh, and then this might be Spiral, I think. Hard to get in there to see the detail of her face there, but there you go. Lots of arms there. That'll be an interesting one to paint, seeing if you get in, into all those nooks and crannies. And... Wow, that all oh, that water effect's quite cool, actually. It's a little bit got more of a blue tinge to it than, um, say, Sue Storm sort of just clear effect there, and that is Namor. Da -da -da -da. I think he might be one of the new movies or shows coming out soon. All right, and good to see they they do have these little layers in between to so protect the models even more. Uh, and last layer, so let's have a look. We've got one little dragony character there, a little familiar, I think, with magic, is it? Um, but um, not sure why it's purple. I don't know if that's because it can be a baddie or a goodie or whatever. Um, we have, um, is that Kitty Pride going through the wall there? So I think some people had a problem with her in the Kickstarter. They didn't like the way she was running through the wall or something, but you can have a look at it there and... See what you think. Do you like that pose or not? Um, big mold line there on the under the chin. Wonder if that's a <laughs> side effect of running through the wall. Okay, <laughs> got a bit of uh, cement stuck to her. All right. Um, and what have we got? Oh, a little shark guy. So this is um, is it Gwenpool? That's a fun model. A little penguin backpack. Yeah. Nice pose. Yeah, it's a fun one. I like that little shark, shark dog thing. Uh, I'm sort of losing track of what I've picked up and what I haven't. All right, so this was, I think, a popular one in the Kickstarter page. Everyone was uh, clamoring for <laughs> to make sure he turned up as a as a stretch goal. Was he the last one revealed or something? Nightcrawler, very popular character. So they've done justice to his model too. I think that's quite a cool pose, cool explosion. Now, whoopsie, whoop. Now, who is this? Captain Britain? Could be. Mm, not sure. I said someone before was Sunfire. Maybe this is Sunfire. Not sure. Not sure if Sunfire's a guy or a girl. I just remember that name from the Kickstarter. Uh, <laughs> Slimer from the Ghostbusters. Uh, yeah, not sure who that character is, but looks kind of cool. Mm, have we looked at this one? Don't think so. She's sort of throwing a barrage of knives or stars or something. It's quite a cool one. Yeah.
Now, this is, uh, I think this is a, one of a pair of characters, Cloak and Dagger, I think. I think that's Cloak, I'm guessing. Uh, there's a TV show with them in it too, I think. So I wonder if that's Dagger there, Cloak and Dagger. She might be the offside to that guy, or vice versa. Now that's an, they've got, <laughs> this, they've got a fair few of the models doing these cool sort of throwing a barrage of weapons and I think this one even takes the cake. That's, oh, what an awesome pose. Look at the movement in that. That's fantastic. These are really cool models. Not sure if he's really looking where he's throwing those though. <laughs> it's like an old Games Workshop uh, box front cover where they're sort of firing in all directions. All right, let's have a look here. Uh... All right, we've got another contender for Sunfire. Okay, maybe this is Sunfire. All right, that's cool. Flame effects nice and cool, yep. Classic sort of hero pose there. Uh, Logan Weapon X, I think this is Weapon X version of Logan. That's cool. Very brutal. Yeah, great. And... Wow, look at that. Oh, this, uh, maybe this is Weapon X, I forget. Or is this X-13? I forget what the, you know, this is obviously like, uh, Logan as he's being experimented on, and this is the girl that he, um, rescues in the, um... Uh, what are the, uh, what's the Old Man Logan movie? Was it just called Logan? I'm sure she's not just from the movie. I'm sure she's got her own comic and stuff, but yeah, that's that's her, I think. Sort of successor to Wolverine. Um, now, who's that there? Not sure. Kind of looks like a Jubilee-esque type character. And... Mm, fairy? Is her name Fairy? She kind of just looks like a fairy. Okay. Uh, yep, no idea. From some team that's uh, after my time, I think. Not bad looking model though. This is a cool looking brute here. No idea who this is, but they look kind of cool. If I had to guess on the name, I'd say Yeti, but I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a character or not. And I think if there is a Yeti in uh, the X Men series, I think Yeti might be a baddie. Uh, whoa, this guy's cool. Tumbling dude. He's got a little moustache. I think he does. Oh, he does too. Look at that. Oh, circus performer type looking, tumbling artist. Okay. And Captain Generic, <laughs> no, not sure who that is, but um, yep, I think these guys down the bottom row must be uh, part of some newfangled team that I'm not aware of. And yeah, speaking of which, yeah, I don't know who this is. Cool model though, Bird Cloak. Yeah, cool. Now, I've just noticed there's two spots here. Um, I'm just going to check to see if uh, Storm might fit in one of these. So I'm wondering if those promos of uh, Storm and maybe Logan are designed to fit here so you don't have to have them sort of floating around separately. So with the magic of uh, <laughs> video editing, which I'm really good at, I'm going to make uh, Storm appear if, <laughs> if she does fit there. Okay, and pow. All right, well, she fits. Let's just check that the lid goes over the top. Um, oh, brilliant. Yep, so she does fit there. So I'm guessing that gap there is a forever reminder that I didn't back <laughs> enough of the game to get uh, Old Man Logan, so that's, <laughs> that's a bit sad. He must fit in that spot there. Ah, uh, well, I uh, should have backed uh, more of the game, I guess. All right, and we'll have a look 
at some of these. So these are your uh, extra sort of tokens here. You've got your multiple man tokens uh, and different bits and pieces there. Go with different characters, I guess, in different game modes. Uh, we would have seen these already. Uh, these are your... Well, actually, if you haven't watched the previous video, um, I had a look at all the cardboard versions of the, um, of the villain boards. So these are all the villain dashboards there. So if you want to see the cardboard versions of those where I go through in a bit more detail, you can look at those. And, and we have the cards. So we'll just quickly just uh, breeze through these cards and um, that'll be all she wrote. So let's flip them around this way. We have uh, some threat cards here. So threat cards for uh, Arcade. And you can see his cards there. We've got Aftershock, Avalanche, uh, Brood. So Brood obviously has like little broodlings, I'm guessing. Um, then we have some henchmen for Cal... Uh, this is Caliban, so henchmen for Callisto, it looks like. Okay. So she's got some henchmen working for her. And we've got some... Um, here's this Dark Phoenix. Got some mental barriers and mm, nigh omnipotence. <laughs> okay, she's pretty powerful. And uh, some more henchmen there. Who's this? Deathbird. Oh, so ha that's who that was. So Deathbird. Okay. So that wasn't wasn't Scarlet Witch. I didn't think Scarlet Witch was in this set. Um, I think that she's one of the characters in one of the expansions I didn't get here, and she's also in the previous Marvel game too. And there's uh, magic. So magic can be used as a bad guy, I think. Oh no, maybe she just appears as a as a henchman in this. Okay, yeah, Emma Frost. All right, so that's some of the baddies. All right, so we have um, some of the heroes now. So starting card there for uh, Gwenpool. So we might flip him over and have a look at him from this side. Okay, so Blink. That's who that character was. Okay, so uh, yeah. Uh, fun sort of neon bright sort of color scheme there. Um, warp portals. It's pretty cool. Uh, who we got here? And we've got Boom Boom. So that's who that was. So that's not Jubilee. Boom Boom. Okay. Uh, yep. Cool. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, that's right. Because I we haven't looked at the uh, gold and blue. Uh, team, so I'm thinking Jubilee must be in one of the gold and blue teams, yeah. Captain Britain. Mm -hmm. There's Cloak. So I'm guessing Dagger must be next. Yep, Dagger. So that was Dagger. Okay. Uh, Dazzler. Ah, Dazzler. Okay, so... Dazzler was the other one that looked a bit like Jubilee, and I think, I, I always used to think, is this Jubilee when playing the arcade game? Because I think Dazzler was in the, ar the old arcade game, wasn't she? So she must be like a real old school character. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Doop, is it Doop or Oop? What does that say? I think it's a D. Doop. <laughs> I mean, what more can you say about this guy? All right. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Emma Frost. Mm -hmm. That's her in her good guy persona. Uh, and Phantom X. Ah, so that's that character that I thought was maybe Baron Nemo. Yeah, I was going to say, why is Baron Nemo wearing like an X-Men belt? Okay, so Phantom X. Phantom X? Phantom X. Interesting. Analytical Intelligence. Misdirection, so some sort of like super spy or something. Uh, and Feral. So that's Feral. I'm pretty sure Feral... Uh, now I'm not sure. I think Feral was the one in X Factor, I think. So maybe that's her. Okay. And Firestar. Okay, so that's Firestar. So that definitely wasn't... Uh, Sunfire. <laughs> What's the name I was saying? Sunfire. And... Wait, hold on. Firestar, and then Firestar, what? Why has she got different color cards here? Is that something that normally happens? Don't think so. 
Interesting. Not sure what's going on with that card there. Is she the same character? Hmm. It's weird that the colour's different. Is that? I don't think they do that on the other ones, do they? Um, and Guardian. Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> apologies to all my <laughs> Canadian viewers. <laughs> the guy called Captain Generic. Sorry. This guy must be like Captain Canada. Guardian. All right. And then uh, Gwenpool. Yeah, she's got some fun cards there too. Um, yeah, not too shabby. All right, let's have a look at the next deck. Okay, and uh, yeah, that was Havoc. This is just not a costume that I remember him wearing back when I was reading the, the X Factor comics. He might not have been, even been in X Factor in this uniform, who knows. Um, all right, then you've got Kitty Pride. Okay. That's her with her little um, Lockheed is his name. I think I said Lockheed belonged to Magic, but it must be uh, Kitty Pride. Although is Kitty Pride Kitty Pride isn't the same person as Magic, is she? No, I don't think so. Maybe they're friends or something. Is Magic uh, Colossus's sister? I think maybe. Uh, then you've got oh, so this guy's Legion. Okay, so that's who that guy is. So who is that other weird character? Okay, so that's Legion. Kind of looks like a Slim Jim commercial, or maybe like Jim Carrey or something. Uh, then you've got Longshot. Yeah, he had a cool pose, this guy. We liked his model. Long shot, yep. And Magic, here we go, this is her. Okay. Uh, and Marrow, oh, so that's who that character is. Yeah, see, I'm not really familiar with these, these ones. Um, Mirage, she's the one with the funky flame arrows, the bear, hmm. um, uh, here he is, multiple man, very cool, awesome, cool, that's what those tokens are for, you use, use that, that effect there, uh, cool, and name all, <laughs> Chilling on his throne there. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nightcrawler. Very popular. Northstar. Okay. Might be part of that Captain uh, Canada team, maybe. Uh, and Phoenix. So this is like good guy Phoenix. Ah, so I think... This, yeah, I think I wasn't sure who this character was as well. So that's Phoenix when she's not all super amped up. And then Pixie. Ah, it's close. Fairy Pixie. <laughs> I probably had a 50-50 chance there. All right. Pixie. All right, I was going to say, wait, didn't we see Namor? But this must be his maybe bad guy. Yeah, bad guy version. So that's Namor as a villain. Uh, we've got Mojo. So Mojo, mm-hmm. Okay, Mojo's got a few folks working for him. Ah, oh, Spiral works for Mojo, interesting. Okay, and then we've got Mastermind. Mm-hmm, then Marrow. So yeah, I think Marrow's one we saw as a, as a good guy as well. And I think I remember in that movie, Marrow was like a baddie, wasn't she? She was on the side of, um, Magneto and those guys. Uh, then you've got, um, yeah, I've forgotten again. This must be Legion, I think. Does it say on the back? Okay. Hmm, all these different titles. I wonder if he sort of uh, is a bit of a time traveler or a shapeshifter or something. Uh, interesting, lots of different personas. Uh, and got some different end game sort of goals and stuff there. Lady Deathstrike. Mm hmm. And looks like she might be the last one in this set. And then we've got some other goals or something here as well. Chasing the bad guy. This might be for that um, superhero mode where you can play play off against each other. I think. Okay. All right, and we have uh, some more 
cards here for the villain mode, super villain mode. We've got uh, Omega Red. Okay, and then we have, uh, who's this? Onslaught. I mean, surely Onslaught's got something to do with Magneto, right? Look at the, look at the costume and the colors. I'm sure some of you know exactly who that character is. Uh, Sauron, Sauron. Mm -hmm. Shadow King. All right, so not Mephisto, Shadow King. Okay, couldn't remember who that was. Mm -hmm. Silver Samurai, very cool. Spiral, so bad, bad guy in her own right, not just a henchman. And, uh, oh, cool, Blob and Pyro, Blob and Toad, so they, uh, yeah, they must be... Again, like the Sinister Six, you sort of use them together. All right, and the last deck, so uh, good old Polaris. Um, she was kind of like the Jean Grey of the X Factor. Um, then we have Puck. <laughs> That's what that little tumbling guy is, Puck. Okay, well, with a name like Puck, and look, <laughs> his symbol, he's got to be part of that Canadian team. With his little moustache, though, he kind of looks like he might be French-Canadian. All right. Uh, and Sasquatch. Yep, okay, well, there you go. Yeti, Sas <laughs> Sasquatch, I was close. Again, yeah, definitely part of that Team Canada. All right. Special shout-out to Rob's Gaming Table and all the uh, Canadian um, followers of his. There we go, Snowbird. <laughs> and uh, I'm very sorry, Rob, and, and all the fellow Canadians <laughs> for <laughs> calling uh, whoever that Captain uh, Canada guy was, uh, Captain Generic. All right, uh, Spiral. Yep, there she is. So this is her as a good guy. Um, seriously, though, if you're uh, looking for some good streaming content, Rob's Gaming Table, you can't look any, any further than that. Great channel. Um, all sorts of games that he covers there. Strong guy, yeah, I love, to, <laughs> love his little weird uh, knot of hair there at the top of his head. Um, so strong guy, yep. Hopefully, yep. I would expect to see a few strong cards there. Uh, kinetic energy absorption. Yeah, cool. Uh, and Sunfire, all right, so this guy was Sunfire. All right, so that was about my fourth attempt, wasn't it? <laughs> That's Sunfire, he's got the big mask. All right. Lots of flamey characters in this uh, set, isn't there? Uh, Sunspot. Okay. I wonder if they're on the same team. Sunfire and Sunspot. Uh, Warlock was the name of this character. Okay, I couldn't remember that. Warlock, yeah. Okay, and then Warpath. Now that was that character. I wonder if Warpath was in the New Mutants. Warpath and Weapon X. Mm hmm. There's a lot of punching power there. Okay, healing factor, of course. Is that a starting hand card? Yep, of course. Uh, and Wolfsbane. So this looks to me like a uh, X Factor costume. So. Uh, I'm guessing Wolfsbane is the one that's in uh, X Factor, and uh, Feral must be either in the uh, New Mutants or she might be in X Force. I'm guessing. Uh, and then you've got uh, X Twenty Three, Wolverine's successor. I think she is. Not really sure what her story is in the comics. Okay, and she's got Healing Factor. Is that a starting card as well? Yep. Interesting. And well, there you go. That's all of the cards uh, and the models from the uh, the promo miniatures. So thanks for watching that video. If you if you watched all the way to the end, um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing those models there. Uh, apologies that I actually ended up having to sp spread this over two uh, videos. So um, hopefully you enjoy both of them. And yeah, like I mentioned a couple of times in in the videos, um, I didn't end up getting the Deadpool uh, expansion or the Gold and Blue Team expansions. Uh, in this um, in this shipment, uh, there's apparently another shipment arriving in the next couple of days. Just the there's so many boxes that they they 
obviously have just sort of shipped them out in in uh, in sets. So um, I'll be getting all of the rest of the Marvel United um, original Kickstarter, all their stretch goals and all their um, uh, expansions, plus uh, those extra sort of X Men uh, sets there. So. I'll at least film another video with the uh, additional X-Men content. And um, if anyone's interested, if you leave me a message or something uh, on the uh, messages uh, of this video, um, I can always put together a, a Marvel United um, unboxing as well if, if you're interested in seeing that. But I figure that's pretty old now, so um, I'm not sure if there's much demand for that. But um, if you want to see it, yeah, let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye.